Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome to your next vlog on One Man and His Boat. I think I'm going to call this one Evolution. Why? Find out after the intro. So hello guys, a very warm welcome indeed and thank you so much for joining us again on another episode of One Man and His Boat. Now evolution, what on earth is Baza talking about when he's talking about evolution? Well over the festive period I've been thinking a lot about where One Man and His Boat needs to go and how Jeff and I are going to sh show that for you guys and I've had so many great ideas so that is one part of the evolution. The other part of the evolution is for the Lindsay B itself now, in boat building, you will come across problems, especially amateur boat buildings, because you've not got an absolute clue what you're doing. <laughs> Hence why I'm making this channel. And basically, we've come, come across a few problems, and it's time to sort those problems out. Let's step aboard, and I'll show you exactly what those problems are. Oh, and before I forget, another part of evolution is Evolution Studio. I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. And we've got new lighting, new camera, can you see that, sorry guys, and, and also we have some mods for the GoPro as well, so the, the studio side of things is uh, actually coming on and I've only got one person to thank for that and that's my fantastic patient wife, Lindsay. Thank you so much darling, all your toys that you have uh, bought over the festive period I've been really appreciative. Uh, we've still got a wee bit of things to do, guys. We need uh, good sound quality and stuff like that. But it's a vicious circle. I can't buy anything like that until we get this lady to see to earn money. The usual story, isn't it? Right, anyway, I'm going to stop talking about this stuff and let's go and sh see this problem. Right, guys, welcome to aboard the Lindsay B. Now, if you remember from episode 100, we were having a lot of problems with this um, fell man overboard system. Now, we're now going to obsolete that. So what my solution is for that is basically throw that out. We're putting another kill switch in. I'm still waiting on the electrician turning up to do his magic to actually make sure that that kill switch will stop the engine. So my solution for this area now is because I'm going to have a dirty big hole here and a dirty big hole down there where uh, some of the instruments were going to go. I've got to find a solution. Now that solution, for up in the console at least, is just as simple as putting in a power supply for cameras, mobile phones, etc. Which is absolutely fantastic. So my second problem guys, is now I've got a dirty big hole where one of the instruments was going to go. Absolutely obsolete. Dirty big hole, yes I could fill it in. But I could fill it in with something far better than just a wee piece of wood and some fiberglass. So guys, picture this, it's a beautiful sunny day, the weather's flat, calm, the lobsters and the crabs are coming over the real like neighbours business, it's a fantastic day. Honestly, God couldn't have created a better day in itself. So how do we turn that perfect day into an absolutely even more spectacular day? Well, by listening to your favourite tunes of course. So here we go guys, we're going to be fitting a wireless in. Nice big six and a half inch speakers, 240 watts, IP66, couldn't ask any better than that. Happy days, sir. Look at that. Lovely jubbly. So guys, that's the solution to my second problem. But I have a third. Oh dear, yeah, there's always some. One thing about bulk building, you'll always come up with problems. It's up to you to find out the solutions. So guys, as part of your MCE, you're meant to have fire extinguishers galore, even on a small vessel like this. 
So my idea was to have a quick grab fire extinguisher system uh, throughout the boat. So when I was investigating it, I'd seen a company that dealt with making fire extinguisher boxes for marine applications. So I thought, oh, that's the business. So I went and purchased two of these. And when they arrived, to say dubious on their quality is, yeah, it's not what they described in the description, that's for sure. And the picture itself actually had a proper fire extinguisher inside the, this housing and a proper fire extinguisher doesn't fit. I had to get the smallest fire extinguisher you can get to actually fit. And even when it's fitted, it rattles about like neighbor's business and that's with the strap on. So, not impressed at all. Uh, here's one that's outside the box and honestly, you can hear it. Absolutely pure rubbish. I mean, the plastic itself, uh, the clear side, nah, it's just, it's just no doing it. One, one wee tap with that way, anything, it's just going to shatter. The plastic back end, if they had made the front the same as the back, then it would have been good enough quality. Uh, however, you can't even open the door fully once it's. Oh, or you can, but it makes a noise like that. That doesn't sound very healthy. And then, oh, you hear it? That just, nah, it's not doing me at all. So, now I've got a problem here, so I've got to find a solution for this problem. So guys, my solution is, just to fit another um, door front on there. I will have problems with the shelving. There's a shelving at the back of here, but it is what it is, guys. Uh, Basically, I've, I've ran out of ideas what I could do without having to go back to it. Now, obviously it's a big area to cut out, so it'll help take weight off the top of the boat. Um, but you should still have plenty of strength in here. Uh, I've, I've, I've no qualms about that, that's for sure. So we'll get this taken out, we'll get the new door put in, um, we'll get the radio put in here, and then we'll find somewhere for the speakers to go. So, it's all crack a lacking. Um, once we've done that, the electrician's done his bits and bobs, it's just final polish up, get her out of the shed, get these stays done for the mast, get her a quick wash and polish, and she is done. Oh, and an antifill. We need an antifill before we launch. Uh, just so you know, I have been in contact with the high up company and I'm still waiting on a reply. So, stand by for a date. Yes, guys, exciting stuff. Right, we're going to stop talking now and we are going to get on with this.
Right guys, unfortunately that's all we've got time for this week. It is now Friday and I want to get this out for tomorrow and I've still got editing to do. Daylight's starting to fade as you can tell, my light's getting turned around. <laughs> and uh, I'm so sorry about Sue barking in the background, it's just her time of night. She's getting fed, she's getting out for a rerun, so she's excited. Um, guys, I'm not going to actually say like the video, subscribe to the channel and all that nonsense because basically you're all adults now, you know how YouTube works, you do what you feel is right. Stand by for an announcement, it's happening soon. Right, that's all we're going to say for this week. I hope you've enjoyed the video, thank you very much for your support and I'll see you next time. All the very best now my friends. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to your... Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome to your new vlog. Can I get this right? Right guys, welcome... I was going to say to the rock copper there. <laughs> so my problem... Oh Christ, I'm clamping up. <laughs> some sense into me. So guys, as part of your MCA, basically even a small boat. I don't look comfy there. There we go. I'm no comfy. God, I'm getting old. Dude, where's that? Recording. We're recording. Hey, cameras. Why can the notes bloody work? Is that working now? Start. Oh dear. I think I'm out of it. Next. Oh. <laughs> of course we've got to have Sue barking. Sue, go and be quiet now, darling. This, this may be a tad rubbish ending. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid that's all. So, guy, Sue, be quiet, please. So guys, unfortunately that's all we have time for for this week, uh, I need, this is Friday, I need to get this out tomorrow so I've still got a bit of editing to do, uh, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog, uh, it was off the cuff for me and I'll need to stop saying eh, uh, say eh uh, or the booming thing. <laughs>